How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Chemo 365. So part one is now done of our 22 long rifle ammo testing. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link for it right up here. And before going over to the bulk ammo to see how it compares with the target stuff, we're going to stop over with the CCI guys. Because ever since I started shooting, the mini mag has been a really good standard. I've had really good luck with it. But my question is, how much better is the green tag than this guy? Like, is this worth paying the difference? Let's find out. Here are the two boxes of ammunition we're going to be looking at today the CCI green tag versus the CCI mini mag 40 green And I have a lot of experience with these guys and I think they're pretty good But ever since I got out here to Las Vegas people are like oh this green tag is really good because we don't really see this back in Hawaii So I was like well finally let's test it out and see how consistent the velocity is So that's what we're going to look at today But first let's have a review of part one All right the winner of part one was this guy here black box Ellie match $20 for 50 rounds That was a disadvantage it's really expensive but it had the lowest standard deviation at 11.95 and we'll go over this stuff before we do the cci stuff but it had the lowest standard deviation 11.95 to me the best value were these two guys so the federal gold metal target and the aguila 22 target competition five and six bucks each here's what they did so the aguila was 16.04 what standard deviation and check out that look at the federal target stuff 1421 so that's really good value when you look at if you're gonna go by hundreds because these are packed into hundreds uh this would be like 12 bucks and this would be 10 bucks man that's a really good value uh but let's talk about the cci stuff now all right guys here are the results i'm gonna have the green tag on this side the left side and the mini mags 40 grain on this side let me go over the testing so we shot 50 rounds of green tag 50 rounds of mini mag Shot 25, let the barrel cool down, shot another 25, and then I just clean it with a bore whip really quick. And these are the results. So the mean, of course, is a total of all of the results divided by 50 because we shot 50 rounds. Extreme spread, you take the highest and the lowest, subtract it from that, and it's 67. The most important number we're looking at is a standard deviation. Remember, the closer we can stick to this average, the better. What that number is telling us is it could be 14.78 higher or lower than that number. So that's why the lower that number, the better. So we got 1085.12 versus 1196.76. Extreme spread is 67 versus 91. And there's the big one, 14.78 versus 20.47. There is a difference. So if you're wondering how big of a difference, that's around how big the difference is. So it's up to you if you want to pay $18 versus $7 or $6 for this. I've seen them as low as $5.99. But for me, uh, I don't know. I mean, this, this is an awesome plinking round. And for me, even an awesome target round. Like if you just want to go and see if you can group real tightly with this, this is pretty decent. This is a little bit expensive with the green tag. And remember, this guy right here, the Federal Premium Target Gold Medal, 1421 versus 1478. This is five bucks. So really, if you want a target, good target ammunition, I try this first versus that. That's assuming that your firearm or whatever you're using to shoot it out of likes this ammo, because sometimes it won't. But Getting back to it, is there a difference? Absolutely. Are you willing to pay the difference? I don't know. If you're just going to plink, maybe something like this. So what have we found out about green tag? Is it more consistent velocity-wise than mini mag? Absolutely. The question is, are you willing to pay for it? Well, guys, that's the ending of this review. Hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.